you on this, you ugly b**** You know, when I was going into this film, I just really wanted one thing. I really wanted to see Jason Statham punch a shark in the face. Did my wish come true? Well, let's find out. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for The Meg. I really do appreciate it. Now, I was actually really looking forward to this film. Um, I like shark movies. I like 47 meters down. Of course, I like Jaws. I like Piranha 3D. Um, I like Jason Statham. He's a fan of mine. Um, I mean, I'm a fan of I'm a fan of his. And uh, I have been uh, ever since he popped up in the scene for me in his transporter days. He's a little miscast in this film, but at the same time, I really don't care because while I want to have fun with this, this is not anything that I went in uh, taking uh, seriously. OK, you know, I mean, with the size of this shark, I mean, that's just kind of ridiculous. Not saying it's true or whatever. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I, I'm not into it like that, but I was not expecting much. Now, this film is being directed by John Turtletop. If you don't know his work. He did the uh, the National Treasure movies with Nicolas Cage, which I'm a fan of. He also did Cool Runnings, which came out in the uh, early 90s. And also, one of my uh, favorite movies of all time, not saying the best, but one of my favorite is Three Ninjas, which came out in 1992. Uh, that just kind of has a little place for me, uh, you know, in my heart as a child. But um, as far as the Meg is concerned, I really enjoyed it. Now, this is more of a kind of an action adventure film. It's not like a horror thing like that. The film is PG-13. So if you are expecting a lot of gore and blood and things like that, you will be disappointed. But at the same time, I just really wasn't expecting anything other than seeing Jason Statham punch him in the face. But, um, I, you know, uh, he, even though he was a slightly miscast, you know, he is a real character in this film, uh, Jason Statham. Uh, he is, uh, anti-cowardice. You know, he is a hero. Uh, he saves a lot of people in this film. Uh, this film is also very funny, too. Um, I also like that I was able to buy uh, a, a little bit of the science and the way they had to explain things with the Mariana Trench and where they think where they uh, uh, assume the deepest part in the ocean is. Now, uh, also something I like when a film challenges me, but it has to succeed in the challenge. And what I mean is, is when you have certain lines of dialogue or just a premise that you're uh, you're showcasing on screen. You know, with a lot of the technology in this film, especially at the very beginning, I was like, okay, guys, this is just overcomplicated. I just don't understand why y'all doing this. Why don't y'all just do this and make a whole bunch of rovers and robots and just send them down there? Why do you have to send bodies down thousands and thousands of feet and miles? Well, not thousands of miles below, but, you know, uh, way down was it? I think the lowest uh, part in the ocean that they think is like six miles or something like that. I could I could be wrong, but I mean, I've had all these questions with technology, with things that just don't make sense to me. But then they reveal some more dialogue later on, which, you know, with uh, with the cost of uh, how uh, with the cost of how much it would be to manufacture such a tool. And when they were dropping these jewels like this and giving the explanation, that's when I calmed down. I'm like, okay, you know, let's make more sense. And I was just able to get on board. Uh, something that really surprised the hell out of me with this film that I did not think was going to happen at all is I actually cared about the characters, all of them. I mean, I character, I cared about, um, Jason Statham, there was this one guy in the film by the name of Toshi, uh, who was in the Heroes TV show, the TV show that came out a number of years ago. I cared about him. Um, I care, I cared about everybody. There was a, a leading, a supporting, uh, a, a white lady, supporting Asian lady. And I, I like both of them. Also, uh, you know, usually when these films here, they kind of will telegraph to where there's a strong macho guy and then a woman over here that doesn't like the strong macho guy at first, but then towards the end of the film, they're making out and like, oh, I guess you are a great guy and you saved everybody. So, uh, you know, I kind of thought they was going to go there and whether they did or not, just going to have to see the film, but it was kind of like a a unintentional love triangle, you know, that I, it's something that I just, you know, just kind of gave me a different flavor than uh, I've ever gotten before as far as, uh, you know, films like this is concerned. Let's talk about the shark. The shark is freaking huge. 
you know, and I liked it for the most part. And there are um, a, a number of surprises in this film that really hit home. Uh, as far as the shark looked, uh, I mean, I liked the design, but at the same time, um, there was a lot of CGI. Some parts they looked uh, real, some parts they could have did a better job. Um, and I, I kind of do, well, I, I really don't, and I was going to say, I kind of wish it, they would have got bloodier, but you know, I, I'm not, you know, I, I really didn't care. These are complaints that I've heard from other people, but you know, the shark, you know, he was a, a, a worthy threat, uh, was not messing around. And, you know, um, I did appreciate the little bit of carnage, um, that I was able to get from the, uh, the sharks. There were a ton of, um, agency moments for me to where when a shark would jump out or this would pop over here or pop over there, I was like, Oh, when somebody was on, was this close to dying, I'm just like, Oh, get away, get away, get away. You know, and, uh, you know, just did a great job there. Um, and I, like I said, I felt sorry for the characters. There were people that died in this movie. And when they died, I was like, damn, man, that just really hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like just, you know, in a point they're like stranded out in sea and just kind of see like the, the horror and terror that they're going through. Did a great job there. There is a black guy in this movie, the token black guy. <laughs> what is his name? Uh, his name it was is it Paige Kennedy. I like him. He's funny. Uh, he was in SWAT. Um, let's see what else this guy's in. He okay, he's got 61 credits. I'm not gonna look at all this. He was in the Rush Hour TV series, and uh, you can look him up if you want to. But I liked him, he was funny. Uh, there was he was more of the comic relief in this film. Uh, I mean, there was comedy coming from all different directions on all cylinders, but uh, you know, he was a comic relief. There was a point towards the end of the film though, that kind of made him seem like a punk. Uh, but you know, um, I didn't really care for that, but you know, I got over it. There's also a small, cute little Asian girl. She's just the sweetest thing. She is very smart. Um, uh, but you know, overall guys, I really did enjoy this film. I don't want to go as far as to say I would buy it or something like that, but excuse me, I would not mind seeing it again, uh, you know, a year from now when this is on TV or Netflix or whatever, you know, and I don't got nothing to watch. I would love to have this playing, watch it playing in the background. I mean, I really did have fun with this film. I enjoyed it. Um, if I have to give the Meg a rating out of a one out of 10, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Yes, a 7.5 out of 10. But guys, that is just my opinion. Have you seen the Meg or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Me. Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's uh, right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for The Meg starring Jason Th Statham, directed by John Tuttletop. And before you you go don't forget my name is Brandon Keith Avery and that's just my opinion peace